So we didn't get to um, Amazon <laughs> news yesterday. We didn't get to Jeff Bezos news yesterday, but Amazon workers at the Bessemer, Alabama, Amazon Fulfillment Center will begin voting next month on whether to unionize and join Let's go. the retail, wholesale and department store union. Amazon Let's has been go. holding small meetings with. Um, what were you saying, Marcus? Oh, no, he was mean. he was cheering you on. He was cheering. Oh, up, oh, yeah, yeah, oh. No, mind, yeah. Oh, you guys. OK, you guys are being nice today. OK, great. So <laughs> Amazon has been holding small meetings with all the staff at this location where they present anti-union talking points as factual information. In an emailed statement to Bloomberg, Amazon spoke spokesperson Heather Knox said the company doesn't believe the union represents the majority of its workers views, saying, oh, quote, God. our employees hmm. choose to work at Amazon because we offer some of the best best jobs available everywhere we hire. And we encourage anyone to compare our total compensation package, health benefits and workplace environment to any other company with similar jobs. Stuart Applebaum, the RWDSU's president, had this to say about the importance of unionizing Amazon's workforce in Alabama, saying, quote, we see it as much of a civil rights battle as a a labor battle. The overwhelming majority, perhaps greater than 85% of the workers at this facility are African-American. Here they go. (laughs) And their major concern seems to be that they're not treated with respect. Amazon's recent earnings reports showed that their revenue has jumped 44% from a year earlier to $125.6 billion today. And that profit more than doubled to $7.2 billion. For the first quarter of 2021... Amazon anticipates sales between 100 billion and 106 billion, up 33% to 40% compared with a year earlier, and profit of between 3 billion and 6.5 billion. It's just wow. money everywhere, and the people ain't getting paid enough. I just don't understand. Man, screw Spiegel. Jeff Bezos looked like Spiegel, and, and I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> to, to say that, to say that your benefit package is that great is right. BS right. because you make so much money, and these people, these people literally had to fight. We the world had to protest to get people making a livable wage, fifteen dollars. And actually, I don't even know if fifteen dollars is a livable wage anymore. In some cities, it's not. Atlanta, New York, uh, and some other right. major cities. So Birmingham so, too. Birmingham, absolutely. Birmingham too. So, but what? Here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'll say to you. One of my one of my jobs is Democracy for America. Democracy for America has a hundred percent, a hundred percent four way K match. Jeff Bezos don't even do that. He ain't even matching 401k 100%. It's 50%. So while, while we're talking about stock rising, these people can't even really afford to. And when they do, y'all ain't even matching them 100%. So that's tacky. Mm. Straight up. Mm. I, I hate I hate when these people pretend that we should have billionaires in this world. He's a criminal. We need to find a crime to charge him with so we can take that, that loot. That money belongs to the people and the unions. The unions, yeah. for all of y'all that have forgot, are the reason kids don't work in plants and yep. we don't work weekends. So say what you want to say. He's now the he's now he stepped down from being the CEO. He still has a powerful position on his company, but he stepped yeah. down from CEO. He got replaced. Um, look, speak. A look he said something interesting. He said, if you if you asked our most of our employees, they would they would say that we didn't need a union because of. And I bet you most of his employees have no idea what they are owed as American workers. Exactly. I bet I, I, I bet you they're not. I bet you're not. And this is not to knock them. It's just that jobs do a really good job of of hiding what a benefit looks like. Right. Mm. Uh, and unless you have come, come from an, a benefit oriented position and a lot of workers from who work for Amazon, like they, they've been working, doing service work and they've been doing different like you know, hourly wage work for years. So when you get to Amazon and they drop you 15 an hour, or they drop you 17 an hour and they offer you uh, more hours, but no overtime and no benefits and, 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 and anything like that. You think that's perfectly fine because your bottom line is higher and they know that they know that they know that the American worker is in, they know they know that the economy is in such dire straits that they can give you four extra hours and not give you double overtime. They know that they don't have to provide you health care. Um, they 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 make you sign on to that, and it's and it's modern day slave work. And the biggest master in America has been Jeff Bezos and Amazon, right? It's nice. in, it's, it's 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 enslavement. Um, I I have a friend. I have a close friend of mine who just started working at Amazon. 
And I was just thinking to myself, man, I, I really don't yeah. want you to work at Amazon. Like, yeah. I know you need a job, but don't work for the evil empire. That's like literally going from like, you know, the, you know, the, 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 the good side, you know, to straight up wor- working for Dark Vader himself. So I, so so I, I'm I'm just at, I'm just at the point right now where you got to understand something. They gaslighting us and they lying. They capping, and yeah. politicians are are just literally too afraid to actually step up and do the right thing when it comes down to not only holding white supremacy accountable but holding terrible economic practices that hurt generations of people accountable and they're making a killing off of it because they're doing it in the same places <laughs> where enslaved people used to be. Like mm. if you're doing that in Alabama. You know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. And it's, um, it's interesting because for, for um, Amazon or um, for the company to literally say that they're, you know, doing the best they can for African-Americans, they have the best packages, <laughs> all these kind of things. I, I, it's like it, it upsets me because at the corporate company that I work for, um, they lure you in that same exact way. Um, it's kind of like, oh, we, we, we have the best packages so you can come slave for us mm. for the, the amount that we're giving you, um, but we can get you to the doctor, right? That's right. Uh, you can come do all of this for the, the low amount that we're giving you, but we can, listen, no other job is going to give you the option to get to the doctor. No other job is going to give you the option to purchase some time off for your mental health. That's still coming out of the money that I'm that I'm making. So, but they 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 flip it and they make you think that this is the best that you can ever get. So, I did like you know it's it's helpful for my health. But then when I looked at it, I'm like y'all still taking money from my check. Why can't it be free? Well, if you guys are so great and amazing, like. I remember working inside of the place and we, we were like saying, OK, we're working all these hours. It's it's wearing and tearing on our mental health and they're still just paying us this much. They made so much money one year and mm. decided um, to deduct our uh, what was supposed to be our bonus and deduct money out of it. And I'm like, um, that doesn't even make any sense. A lot of us already, again, spent that bonus, but they told us. Listen, you know, you got that benefits package. That's mm. all. And especially when they see the black folks, that's all you hear is them discuss this benefits package. And it's, <laughs> it's, it's almost like conditioned these people to believe that. That's right. OK, if the job got good benefits, they may not pay well, but they got good benefits. That's just that's enough right. for me. And I think and that's, Rebecca, that's I think that's flipping. ridiculous. Rebecca, I got a question for you. Who's more that's dangerous, right. Amazon or the black people that are selling Amazon to our, us? <laughs> see that's you, you, see, see you gotta understand you gotta understand something i'm gonna let you answer that question but you gotta understand something <laughs> amazon just can't come in our hood and just be like yeah here are these jobs we're gonna screw you over at the end of the day right mm-hmm. they can't they can't do that by themselves there are paid representatives and elected officials and but go ahead i just in, in your mind who's more dangerous the, the company itself or the people who are selling that dream to us i feel like it's um the company because they they you know, a lot of us that don't have nothing, right? Mm. We'll see that and, um, you know, and, and, and they'll dangle this thing in front of our face. We'll be willing to just destroy whatever is behind us, around us, just to get a little bit of um, stability because mm. they're saying that this is... So I, I believe it is definitely the company itself. They use mm. these tactics from so long ago um, mm. and, you know, and it mm. works. And they go to communities where people don't have nothing. Every time I go back home, they put an Amazon hub right there next to the hood. All the hood dudes got the jobs. All the girls is driving the trucks and everything. And and, and they're (laughs) right. And they're miserable. Like they're miserable driving these trucks. But they're like, man, Amazon done paid me X, Y and Z. And I'm like, dang, they're paying you that low to do all these deliveries in my mind. But for them, that's just enough. So Amazon know exactly what they're doing. These companies know exactly what they're doing. Bubba, you be ordering from Amazon? <laughs> like, are you still someone who orders from Amazon? You said you be ordering? It yeah, happens. Order. It happens. It happens. I, 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 I had to rush something overnight, so I, they got me this week. So, you know, it, it, You it know, it's funny, though. I haven't ordered from them in, in a good minute. It's actually been a while since I ordered from them. Um, normally, I just try to go out and get it myself, but... Normally, I'm just, you know what? I don't need it. Let me see who mm. else selling it. <laughs> mm. It's like, I'm it's at, like, it's, 
Go ahead. Now imagine what imagine what our communities would look like if Amazon and Walmart were broken up and local people ran things like that. Hmm. Mm. Like mm-hmm. imagine how much imagine how much funding and how how many things for our communities would actually happen. Y'all gotta understand something. The lobbyists for Walmart, Amazon, and these big corporations, they do more they do damage by zone by by zoning. Right. Like every single aspect of what's controlled around them is is damaging. Yeah. If you ever look at your zoning codes, I I buy real estate for my business. And every single place that that, that we that we operate in, I have to look at zoning codes. And a lot of places that I want to be. I can't be because the zoning codes are messed up. And I don't have enough, I don't have $1 million, $2 million to throw at a city council person to change a zoning code. But guess who does? Walmart. Amazon. Now all of a sudden that, that school that was, that was two miles away from Walmart gets $100,000, $2 million less mm. because Walmart didn't move down the street. Y'all got to understand how damaging these big corporations like Amazon and Walmart really are at a local level for our community. They not only take away independence and jobs and, and, and small businesses within our community, but they literally change laws so other things won't get money and they do. Mm. Mm. And man, we can go on and on about Amazon because they ain't, they ain't nothing. And I'll, 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 I'll say this one last bit of news bef- with that um, in regards to Amazon before we go to break. Um, Amazon according to NBC, will pay $61.7 million to settle claims it withheld tips from delivery workers. The FTC alleges that Amazon in 2016 tips. shifted from paying drivers <laughs> the promised rate of $18 to $25 per hour plus tips to paying drivers a lower hourly rate. To slave. They, took, they took these people's tips. Yep. That's some petty stuff. I'm, I'm, I'll be really brief. I, I'm, I went to American Deli. And, 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 you know, masked up, put on my face, mask, everything. And, and, and I started to put my tip in the jar. But the girl caught me. The young woman caught me and said, no, our manager takes that. Oh. Right? that. I almost threw that whole tip jar. But what I did instead was took out all the cash I had in my pocket and tipped everybody in front of the manager. Jeff Bezos and Amazon is so damn petty that they're doing the same thing to hundreds of thousands of people is that cheap ass manager at the American Deli around my corner is taking the tips from those young women. And this is who is zoned, like Marcus said, in every black neighborhood across the country. You drive and you'll see an Amazon warehouse. Hey, man. Bye-bye. Hey, man. How did that how did that uh, manager react when you tipped them? In front he just of, looked. Uh, right. He looked. He looked. That's what I'm doing with my money, man. I'm going to go and just like throw that. it in the That's- face of these managers and give it to the people. I love that, cheap though. Asses. I love that. And. <laughs> I love that because I would have been like, thank you so much. And for the, for the girl to say my manager takes that. Oh, my God, that you. broke my heart. Big up to you, mama. Hey, hey that's, <laughs> that's dope, Ben. Hey, that's, that's dope. That's a good moment right there, bro. That's dope. Yeah. Well done. 